Did you know that Meta is preparing to train a new model that it hopes will be just as potent as OpenAI's most advanced chatbot? Will it outshine GPT-4 with Apple's NLP innovation? Keep watching this video to the end to know all about it. According to the Wall Street Journal, Meta has been buying AI training chips and expanding data centers to produce a more potent new chatbot that it hopes will be as clever as OpenAI's GPT-4. With CEO Mark Zuckerberg apparently pushing for it to once again be free for businesses to construct AI products, the company reportedly aims to start training the new huge language model early in 2024. The development of the future AI model is being keenly observed as a result of Meta's bold foray into the field of artificial intelligence. Meta is adamant about making a name for itself after OpenAI's GPT-3 and GPT-4, which have achieved tremendous success and raised the bar for natural language creation and interpretation, respectively. The highly developed and adaptable GPT-4 model can accept both picture and text inputs and emit text outputs with unmatched accuracy and precision. GPT-4 has shown human-level performance on a variety of professional and academic standards, even if it might not yet be able to equal human performance in all situations encountered in real life. For instance, GPT-4 substantially outperformed its predecessor, scoring in the top 10% of test takers on a mock bar exam. Using knowledge gained from both their extremely successful ChatGPT platform and their adversarial testing program, OpenAI has spent months perfecting and fine-tuning GPT-4. The end result is a model that performs better in factuality, steerability, and safety, and is more dependable, inventive, and capable than ever before. GPT-4 is just the start, though. Over the past two years, OpenAI has completely rebuilt its deep learning stack. They co-designed a supercomputer from the ground up with Azure to support their sophisticated AI workloads. With this state-of-the-art equipment at their disposal, OpenAI is ready to push the limits of what is feasible in the fields of AI and NLP, opening the door for fresh discoveries and ideas that will transform the way we live today. The model's capacity to input images is now being improved by OpenAI in close partnership with a single partner in advance of the release of GPT-4, while the ability to input text is already available via ChatGPT and the API with a waiting period. Additionally, OpenAI has made its OpenAI Evils platform open source, allowing anybody to report issues with their models and provide guidance for future advancements. This framework enables an automated review of AI model performance. A significant accomplishment for OpenAI and the wider AI and NLP communities is the release of GPT-4. GPT-4 is poised to push the envelope of what is possible and usher in a new era of AI innovation and advancement, thanks to its expanded capabilities, remarkable stability, and industry-leading performance. Now coming to what Meta has in store for their AI that's under development, Meta's AI model is believed to use cutting-edge deep learning methods and neural network topologies, however specifics are being kept under wraps. In tasks requiring language comprehension, text generation, and a variety of other natural language processing applications, it is hoped that this new model would thrive, enhancing user experiences across Meta's platforms, which include Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, is one of the main reasons for the company's push into AI. The new AI model might considerably strengthen chatbots, personalized content generation, and content recommendation systems, providing users with a more engaging and customized digital experience. As they compete for supremacy in the AI industry, the conflict between Meta and OpenAI is expected to grow more intense. The GPT-4 from OpenAI, which improves on its predecessors, is hailed as a significant advancement in AI technology. It has already attracted a great deal of interest and acceptance across many industries, from healthcare to content creation, thanks to its astonishing capacity to generate text that sounds like human speech and comprehend context. The goal for Meta is to surpass GPT-4, not merely compete. The company's upcoming AI model's success might have significant effects on user engagement, advertising revenue, 
and the company's overall impact in the IT industry. It is also important to be informed about what Apple's NLP offers. NLP is an area of artificial intelligence and machine learning or AI ML development that is concerned with how machines interpret human language. NLP toolkits in particular put together the frameworks necessary for deciphering and analyzing speech and text-based data. But when you include research, comments, online audits, etc., it becomes much easier to understand why organizations become overwhelmed with massive amounts of unstructured data. Human language is complex, ambiguous, dispersed, and unique. On the Earth, there are more than 6,500 dialects, each with unique syntactic and semantic norms. The first step in helping robots understand natural language is to transform data into something that can be understood by them. Understanding the language structure and identifying how words identify with one another in a particular situation are both important aspects of NLP. However, it is difficult to transform content into something that computers can measure. By expanding SiriKit Media Intense, a feature of Apple NLP that enables developers to work in requests for hands-free activities using Siri, Apple has increased its contributions. How might the Apple Speech Assistant enhance your visit to the App Store? For instance, the Apple functionality enables augmented reality one-click shopping. Users may anticipate more sophisticated and tailored digital experiences as technology businesses continue to make significant investments in AI research and development. With possible consequences that go far beyond the IT sector, the next clash between Meta and OpenAI looks to be an exiting and momentous chapter in the AI story. According to the journal, Meta has been increasing its infrastructure and purchasing additional NVIDIA H100 AI training processors so that it won't have to use Microsoft's Azure Cloud platform to train the new chatbot this time. According to reports, the corporation put together a team to create the model earlier this year in an effort to hasten the development of AI capabilities that can mimic facial expressions. That objective seems to be a logical expansion of the generative AI characteristics that Meta has allegedly already been developing. The unknown AI personas, the business is rumored to be unveiling this month, sound a lot like the Instagram chatbot with 30 personalities that was allegedly under testing in June. Meta has had to cope with a lot of AI researcher turnover because of computational resources being divided among several LLM projects this year. Additionally, there is fierce competition in the field of generative AI. OpenAI declared in April that it would not train a GPT-5 and won't for some time. But Apple is rumored to have been pouring millions of dollars every day into its own Ajax AI model, which it reportedly believes is superior to even GPT-4. Google aims to employ generative AI in Google Assistant, and Microsoft and Google have also been increasing the usage of AI in their productivity tools. According to reports, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg is planning a trial period in which companies and researchers interested in developing AI tools will have free access to the new AI model. This tactical choice is in line with Meta's goal of speeding the creation of AI tools that can accurately mimic human expressions. In a recent breakthrough, Meta unveiled Code Llama, an AI tool made specifically for writing code and debugging programming work produced by humans. This LLM makes use of text prompts to generate and participate in debates about code. This is an exciting development that might increase developer efficiency and lessen entrance barriers for coding enthusiasts. With additional training on code-specific datasets and extensive data sampling from the same dataset, Code Llama represents a code-specific variant of Llama 2. The program has received praise for how efficiently it performs coding tasks, demonstrating its promise as a productivity and educational tool for programmers aiming to create reliable, thoroughly documented software. Meta's entry into the AI space sharpens its focus on generative AI technologies, which Mark Zuckerberg first mentioned in February of this year. Meta seeks to rival the capabilities of OpenAI's GPT-4 by assembling a committed team to build this groundbreaking AI model, launching the AI sector into a new era of innovation and applications. 
And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you liked our content, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you again until our next video.